So despite being met with, at best, lukewarm reviews, Saints Row does have something going for it. An absolute shed load of Easter eggs. In today's video, I'm going to take you through 30 Easter egg secrets and references in the 2022 Saints Row reboot. Now, spoilers should be kept to a minimum here, as nearly all of the Easter eggs are found in the open world. There are a couple of references found in a particular mission, but that's only around two to three hours in. As always, if you think I've missed anything, and let's face it, I probably have, then let me know in the comments and I'll probably end up featuring it in my video game Easter egg series, which you should totally check out if you haven't. Oh, and don't forget to leave a like. If you do, I'll send you a bag of salted peanuts. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, so it's hard to know where to begin when a game has this many Easter eggs. So let's start with the Easter eggs that reference other games. The first game to be referenced in Saints Row is Saints Row. At this location on the map, you can find this. A customer is seldom wrecked. So this is Cabot, who has appeared in previous Saints Row games, though in those games he was a lot bigger. Oh, and if you're wondering, a Cabot is what happens when a rabbit and a cat bump uglies. At least that's what the game says anyway. Now this next easter egg could be a reference to a couple of games, so I'll be interested to hear what you think. At this location on the map, you can find this. So I have to throw those underwear out. So destroying this unpainted part of the wall reveals four strange creatures all looking very suspicious. Well, apart from the little guy on the floor with a knife in his back, he's most definitely dead. Now to me, this is either a Minecraft reference or an Among Us reference. Minecraft because of the breakable wall and the actual look of the creatures, and Among Us because, well, because one of the creatures has been stabbed in the back whilst the other three stand around looking sus. Like I said, let me know what you think. Next up are three video game references that can be found in the Dust Moot mission. This mission sees you teaming up with Eli on his LARPing adventures. That's live action role playing for those unaware. After clearing out Fort Tapeworm, you need to find the treasure, which isn't piles of gold or cash, instead it's duct tape, a live action role player's best friend. The first chest you come across is this one. Those are a box of bottle caps. Huzzah! You have found quite the fortune. So the bottle caps chest is a reference to the Fallout series, where bottle caps are of course used as currency. The second chest is this. Hey Eli, what's this 299 stuff? Tis but a microtransaction. Check thine coin purse for funds. So microtransactions aren't a reference to one single game, just gaming in general. The final chest you inspect is this one. Mimic. Hmm. Don't fucking touch that. That's not loot. Okay, calm down. I won't touch it. So this mimic chest that you are warned not to open is a nod to Dark Souls. Oh, and something else that I noticed during this mission is that your normally fatal finishing moves are no longer fatal, on account of the fact that you are role-playing and not actually killing. It's not an easter egg, but it does look kind of funny. Ah! Up next, if you visit this location, you can find this. So this is the Zohar from the Xeno series of games, which include Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and more. If I'm being completely honest, I haven't actually played any of the Xenoblade games, so thank you to a couple of followers on Twitter for pointing this one out. The final video game reference can be found when indulging in a spot of dumpster diving. Plenty of interesting things can be found in the dumpsters of Saints Row, though at this location in particular, your character seems very happy with what they found. Jackpot. 
so the animation and jingle are a reference to the Legend of Zelda series. Now that was the final video game reference, but there is a reference to a board game too. At this location on the map, you can find this. Yep, it's a giant Jenga tower that you can actually play. It's kind of cool. Right, time to tackle some of the movie references found in Saints Row. First up is perhaps the most repeated Easter egg in video games. At this location on the map, you can find this. Next up is a reference to a movie that isn't quite as well known. At this location, you can find this. Mayor, she ain't what she used to be many years ago. Many years ago. Many years ago. The old grey mare, she ain't what she used to be many years ago. Well, MacDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah. So this singing bush isn't alone. Looking to the left, you can see three inflatable dolls. This area is a reference to the 1986 movie Three Amigos, and this scene in particular. Oh, and whilst we're here, if you turn to the right, you can find the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles chilling out by sewer grate. Next up is a reference to everyone's favourite hammer wielding superhero. At this location on the map, you can find this. So, this is Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. The description of the hammer reads, only a Chris can lift it, a nod to the fact that only Chris Hemsworth and Chris Evans lifted the hammer in the MCU. This next movie easter egg is actually a set of clothes that you can buy at this store. Purchasing the archaeologist fedora, the archaeologist pants and the dusty leather jacket will leave your character looking like Indiana Jones. Next up are two more movie icons, though it's safe to say that these two are far less friendly than Dr. Jones. At this location, you can find this. So these two blow-up dolls are a reference to horror movie legends Hannibal Lecter and Jason Voorhees. Speaking of blow-up dolls, if you head to this location, you can find some very gassy blow-up dolls gathered around a campfire. So these farting dolls gathered around a fire eating beans are a reference to the 1974 comedy movie Blazing Saddles. Next up at this location you can find a giant comb in the desert. This isn't any random old comb though, this is the same comb as seen in the 1987 space parody movie Spaceballs. Sticking with space, there are a couple of UFOs that can be found in Saints Row. First up at this location you can find this. You can actually take a picture of this crashed UFO and use it as a decoration at the hideout. The other UFO I've managed to find is another reference to a movie. At this location, you can find this. So 
So this underground UFO is a reference to this scene from the 1982 movie, The Thing. Once again, a big thank you to my Twitter followers for helping me out with this one. The final movie reference is probably the best of the lot. At this location on the map, there is a chance that you can find this. Bull fucking shit! So this is the same car that Paul Walker drove in The Fast and Furious. Now I say there's a chance that you can find this as it doesn't always spawn. So if it's not there, just drive around the block and come back. As you'd expect, the car is very fast and even comes with the ability to do this. There is a TV reference that I found, though given how many movie references there are, I expect to find many more. At this location, you can find this. Don't got nothing beachy flavor? I'm loving this! So the TARDIS is of course a reference to the TARDIS from Doctor Who. This isn't the first time that the TARDIS has been referenced in a Saints Row game, with it also appearing in the How the Saints Save Christmas DLC from Saints Row 4. Right, we're on the final stretch now, so let's mop up a couple of the more random easter eggs Saints Row has to offer. First up is the discovery of another blow up doll, though it's safe to say that this one has seen better days. If you head to this location, you can find this. I personally like how someone has kitted this bathtub out with neon lights. Nothing says street racer more than a neon lit bathtub. Oh, and before we get to the final easter egg, I just wanted to give a shout out to Saints Row's character creation mode. The possibilities really do seem endless, with characters like Shaggy, The Rock, Walter White, Sexy Squidward and more all being available to download in game. Again, it's not an easter egg, but it is extremely impressive. So the final easter egg for this video is by far the most mysterious. At this location, you can find this. I mean, a monolith on its own is strange enough, and that's not even mentioning the floating rocks. But if you head to the back of the monolith, you can find a riddle which seems to hint at a much bigger discovery. Now, at the time of recording, neither I or the community is close to solving this riddle, but I have no doubt that it will be solved sooner rather than later. As always, your suggestions are welcome in the comments. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is hugely appreciated. If you think I've missed anything, then please let me know in the comments. And if you are a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.